my channel or welcome if you are new here. If you are new here, my name is Hermione and I want to share with you guys how to live your best life on a budget. So today's video is going to be 10 different things that you can do to get you in the autumn spirit and to make you feel super cozy. There's a bunch of different things on this list. There's activities, there's DIYs, but I wanted to keep in mind that they should all be kind of budget friendly and they shouldn't be things that cost a fortune to do. So the first suggestion I have to share with you guys is to upcycle some of your sweaters. You probably have a ton of jumpers and sweaters in your wardrobe that maybe you're kind of bored of, you've worn them too many times and they could do with a bit of a refresh. So I wanted to show you guys a few ways that you can DIY them for a fraction of the price of buying a new one. For the first upcycled sweater I decided to use some old earrings and a necklace to jazz it up a little bit. So here I'm just taking off the backs of the earrings just by kind of prizing them apart with my fingers and then laying them on the sweater around the neckline. With the necklace I cut the string that held all the beads together and just picked out a few of my favourite beads to add to the piece. I then used a needle and thread to thread through the jump rings of the earrings and the necklace and attach them really well to the jumper. Here's a close up using some green thread so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going through the jump rings making sure it's attached really tightly and tying a knot to complete. So this is what the sweater looks like at the end and this sweater only cost me 50p from a car boot sale, can you believe? And then some old necklaces and earrings. For the next sweater I'm using this one from a charity shop, I picked it up for a pound. I told you this is going to be cheap and easy things to do, right? So I drew a V shape as the cutout that I wanted and cut this out with sharp scissors. I also cut underneath the turtleneck because I'm keeping this intact. Now you can leave this as it is but if you want to make sure that it doesn't fray then you can do what I'm doing. I'm using a thin piece of lace and some fabric glue and applying this to where I just cut the cutout along the sides. So I applied the glue and then pressed the lace into it making sure that it was very tightly adhered. Then once that was dry I flipped this over and then folded the lace onto itself and glued it on the back as well. I did this on both sides making sure that the lace matched up nicely and then this is what it looks like. You can't really see the lace but it is a nice little detail and a way to make sure that it's not going to fray. If you love pumpkins but you're not a fan of carving them, I feel you. It's super tedious, it's messy, and my artistic skills are not great when it comes to pumpkin carving. But have you thought about doing some no-carve pumpkin ideas? These are super trendy recently, so here's one way that I DIY a pumpkin. So I painted my pumpkins beforehand. I painted one pink and one white. I did this with spray paint and let them dry overnight. And then for this one what I'm doing is taking some gold glitter dots that I got from Poundland and then just placing those on all over the pumpkin. And it's so simple but it's really effective and you can obviously do whatever you'd like with this and use whatever kind of stickers you might have lying around. And this is how it turned out and it definitely fits with the theme of my room which is pink and girly and you know, you've seen it. So <laughs> this is the finished result. For this next pumpkin I went with more of an abstract art approach I guess you could say. I don't know, I was just trying something here. So for this one I just used a thin layer of Mod Podge and I covered it over the white pumpkin that I had spray painted before and then taking some crepe paper and tissue paper I ripped this up into thin strips and just placed it into the Mod Podge. Once that was done I gave it another good coat of Mod Podge to seal it in so it wouldn't come off. I went in and added the strips in a few different colours, I've got dark pink, light pink and pale purple and this is what the final product looks like. It's just a fun craft idea that you can do maybe if you have younger siblings or kids and you just want to take a cosy evening to upcycle a pumpkin without having to carve it and make a mess. Something that can make you feel super warm and cosy in the autumn or winter time is a hot drink. So take the time to make a really fancy hot chocolate or coffee. 
I love a good mug of hot chocolate in the autumn time, it's such a nice treat. So I'm using some white hot chocolate here and then some hot water to make it warm obviously. <laughs> and then I'm adding in some almond milks, a few mini marshmallows, by a few I mean obviously a mountain of mini marshmallows, why not? Then I just popped in some white chocolate chips and then topped this off with a humongous drizzle of caramel syrup because why not? Because I had all of these things in my cupboard already it was completely free for me to make and it was very easy to do and it did make me feel super cozy. If you love autumn scented candles but you hate when the candle runs out, I know, I understand that pain, it hurts, but when you've got the jars left over you can do so many different things with them. So here's one of the DIYs that I have been doing to upcycle my old candle jars and give them a new lease of life. So for this upcycling project, I'm using an assortment of ribbons and loads of different things I have lying around in my craft room. So I would just recommend going in and having a look what you already have or taking some ribbons off old clothes that you might not use anymore. And all I'm doing is using a hot glue gun to attach these to some old candle holders that I've already used up. So that was the first one and then I'm also doing this large glass one with some more crochet lace fabric. I've been waiting for an opportunity to use this. <laughs> so there you have it, a really easy way to upcycle and reuse old candle jars and now you can go ahead and put new candles in them so you won't feel so guilty about the fact that you used up all of the old ones. <laughs> Just be careful with this project, make sure it doesn't get too hot and if you are worried about the fabric maybe use some battery powered candles instead. My next tip is something you can do for free. It's so simple, you're gonna be like, why are you even saying this? But it's free. And I think you should make the most of the last few warm days that you might have if your area gets super cold in the winter time. And that is to go out and have a nice autumnal walk while the leaves are changing color and the air is crisp because it's one of the nicest times of year and you can still walk around comfortably without your toes freezing off. So take this time to go outside and enjoy nature before it gets way too cold. Next up is a quick DIY idea that I thought you could use on a cold rainy day to get you inspired and to give you something to do if you're bored. I turned a terracotta plant pot dish into a ring dish and it's super simple, let me show you how I did it. So this is the terracotta plant pot dish, it cost me 65p, that's literally it, so inexpensive. So then all I did was went in with some white paint that I already had, I did about three or four coats of this. Once that was dry I used a very pale grey that was quite similar to the white so it didn't stand out too much. I dabbed this on with a sponge and then used my fingers to kind of dissipate the paint a little bit and then I went in with a darker grey and I drew these little marbleized lines all over it, dabbed them out and then went in with it again to make them stand out a bit more. So this is kind of what it looks like. It definitely doesn't look like real marble but it was a lot of fun to make and it's just a nice craft project that you can do that doesn't cost much money and it's a great way to replicate this kind of marble trend that's been going on forever. Next up is a DIY that I made that's autumnal inspired. It's a doormat that you can have at your door and you can put any kind of cozy autumnal phrase on it. And the mat that I use only costs one pound from Poundland. So let me show you how I made it. This mat is so simple to make, so all you have to do is sketch out your phrase. I'm writing get cozy. I'm sketching this with a pencil just to kind of make the imprints of where I want to make sure that it's gonna fit, of course. And then using some fabric paint and a square paintbrush, you can go ahead and fill in your phrase. The reason I use a square paintbrush is because it gives the same width throughout each of the letters so it looks really consistent. So I went over this twice but I would recommend going over it three times because doing DIYs in the dark isn't the same as doing them in the light. As you can see I definitely need to go over this again, I didn't realise. But you get the idea, it's a cute little doormat that will look great on your front porch. And my last tip is to decorate for Halloween. Nothing makes me feel like summer is over more than getting out a bunch of pumpkins and putting up some bat string lights, I swear. And if Halloween isn't up your alley, you can always decorate for autumn and maybe just put in a few darker colours into your bedroom to make you feel that little bit more cosy. If you want to do it on a budget, I've got some DIY videos for you. I'll leave them linked in the down bar. You guys know I love doing some DIYs. Or you can always go 
out to your local budget store and just pick up a few new items and sprinkle those around your bedroom to feel a little bit more cosy. So those are all the tips I have to share with you in this video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It was a little bit more lifestyle-y than just DIY. So if you did like it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so that I know to make more. And maybe I could do like a Christmas version when Christmas comes around because I feel like Christmas will be here any minute. Like it just always creeps up on me. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great week and you start feeling pretty cozy very soon. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.